Ricky Hatton, thank you very much for joining Pleasure. us. Here today with Chloe Watson, Simon Wasserman. Just tell us a little bit about Chloe. Yeah, well, um, to be honest with you, um, we, we, uh, we, we met a friend, put us in touch, actually, a friend that's been a friend of mine for, for years. And he said, there's this, um, there's this lady boxer. He said, she's really, really good. Um, and he, he sent me um, the resume, all the amateur titles that she won, box for GB and everything like that. And, you know, when she come down to the gym, you know, it, it, it wasn't a, a shock for me when I, I was quite shocked, actually. But when you see the list of titles she won, it, but, yeah, it was, um, it, 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 it was brilliant. She, uh, she come in, you could see she had a talent, you know, dedicated, really wants it bad. Um, yeah, and it's, it's you know it's it's only been you know we've only just really started I guess, but it's um, it's all going really really well. It's a very very exciting um, future for us to have the Wasmans, such a big organisation, you know you know behind her, and she um, she deserves to have um, that behind her because of the talent she's got. You know I mean there's there's I, I think she's got a world title in her, and it's a long way away. I mean you know early days, but uh, no, that's uh, that's what I think is going to happen. What what are the first things that you look for when someone recommends a boxer to you and you, and you give them a go and you start working? What were the first things that that you wanted to see in the fighter? Well, it takes times, you know. I mean, not just not just for Chloe, but for all of us as boxers. You know, as you go along, you've got to tick the boxes, haven't they? You know, you've got to you know you've got to show your you know your, your one your talent, your ability, your fitness, your chin, your heart. You know, what I mean, and, and then she'll do that. You know, as 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 time goes on, but. Uh, but no, she's just, you know, real, real natural ability, you know, she's done very, 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 very successful as an amateur, but she, um, she comes straight in and straight, and she moved like a professional, you know, for straight from day one, which normally, you know, when, that's the hardest thing for a boxing coach, when you, not just for the ladies, but for the lads, when you transfer them from that amateur style to the pro style, obviously there's little changes when things were got to tweak, but uh, she moved just like a, you know, professional for when, when she come in from day one, so when I had, uh, what I'd like to think what I can add to what the talent that she's she obviously already got, I think it makes very exciting times for the future, yeah. You as a coach and, and a trainer and, and all the different roles that I've seen you fulfilling since retiring from fighting yourself, how many of those skills are you able to adapt into Chloe's game, do you think? Cause I've seen you work with, with well, big the, names. Well, she's obviously, you know, the, the amount of titles she won, boxing for GB and, you know, multinational titles behind her. In order to do that, obviously the talent is there um, to begin with. But one, the one thing that is exciting for me as a coach, even though the talent that she's got, knowing that I can add so much more to a game what she's already got, makes is is a wonderful position for the coach. Um, to, you know, to be in, and you know, and that little transition from going from the amateurs to the professionals, you know what I mean? You take your head guard off, and you're allowed to, you know, sit inside. You're allowed to hold. You're allowed to nudge. You know, you know, and and, and stuff like that. That's, uh, I mean, she fights like a professional anyway. You know, from a boxing point of view, but it's just. Uh, it's just tweaking it a little bit here and there because she's going to a new game. It's about conserving your energy a little bit more because obviously, you know, you put your foot down in the amateur for three rounds, but we're going to be preparing for 10 and 12 rounds. So it's yeah. just tweaking a style a little bit like that, but uh, she's halfway there anyway, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, it's very exciting, yeah. Well, just quickly, thanks. I know you're about to start the session. How excited are you to see her out there, I guess, as soon as possible? Oh, you know, that, I mean, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's, all, it's moved on. Very, very, very quickly. But I mean, you know, the fact that we can get fighting before the before the start of year, or maybe even a couple of fights, you know, would be uh, fantastic. But it's, I mean, what a time to be um, involved, you know, in, in ladies, ladies boxing. It's really, really taking off, isn't it? And Chloe's coming right into it, right at the at the right time, you know. And um, having, you know, these 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 people out there that you know that you watch, you know, from Liverpool, Nat Natasha Jonas, to be honest with you, you know how, how well she's done for ladies boxing and for Liverpool what with what she did in in the Olympics and everything like that, you know. But there's uh, there's another one coming up from Liverpool in it, and it's Chloe, yeah, definitely. Amazing. Well, Ricky, thanks for your time. Thank we'll, you. we'll look forward to the session. No problem.